the monsoon season upon us, it's time to look at some basic but crucial safety and maintenance tips that will help your car drive through heavy rains and come out unscathed. The monsoon season in India tends to witness a spike in road accidents and some basic preventive measures can help you avoid that. So, here are five things to keep in mind. Number one, tyres. A critical component of vehicular safety, tyres must carry enough tread so that they can effectively shed the water and channel it away from the contact patch, that is, the section of the tyre that's making contact with the road. This can prevent the car from aquaplaning, and that means that the braking distance of the car reduces on extremely wet surfaces. Tyre tread can be measured through a tread wear indicator visible on the grooves between the main tread patterns. And if the tread indicator is worn out, it's time to change your tyres. Also, it goes without saying, always carry a spare. Number two, brakes. Arguably the most crucial aspect, it's important that you get your brakes checked and ensure that they're at their most effective. Why? Well, because wet surfaces negatively impact your braking distances. In order to be able to calculate your braking distance well, ensure that your brake pads aren't worn out and that the master cylinder is functioning just right. To do that, you need to do the following. Turn your car on and while idling, press the brake pedal. Gauge the distance travelled by the pedal and if the distance is longer than usual or the brakes feel soft and spongy, make sure you get them serviced or replaced before you encounter heavy rains. And should you drive across waterlogged areas, make sure that you pump your brakes adequately enough to ensure that no residual water remains inside them. This is particularly important if you have drum brakes, which most cars in India are equipped with at the rear. Number three, wipers. Worn out wiper blades mean that your wipers are less effective in countering the rain and wiping the water on your windshield. While this is still manageable under a light drizzle, it can take a dangerous turn should the rains increase. Ensure that the blades haven't been damaged during the summer and the washers are working just fine. Number four, battery. It's crucial that you ensure that the battery and the car's electric wiring is in good shape because more frequent use of headlamps, fog lamps and wipers means your battery will be under a heavier load. Heavy rains can also damage the insulation on the cables. So ensure that the wires are well insulated and always carry a spare fuse and other basic equipment like a jack, a first aid kit and high visibility triangles in case of a breakdown. Number five, driving through flooded areas. If you must cross a waterlogged street, make sure that you do it while maintaining a steady throttle. Do not take your foot off the throttle as doing so will allow water to enter the exhaust and possibly damage your car. Keep the revs high, stick to lower gears and lift your foot off the throttle only after your vehicle is out of the waterlogged area. Should your car get stalled in a waterlogged area, do not attempt to restart the engine as this might cause more damage to it. Instead, see if it can be pushed to a dry area and then have it towed away. If there's a risk of your car getting flooded, ensure that you do not panic. Use as much force to open the doors and then get out. The water outside will exert greater pressure, making it harder for you to open the doors. And if you're unable to, break the window and get out. Keep things like seat belt cutters handy for the absolute worst case scenario. Most importantly, ensure that you ditch your car should the water logging levels increase because you will have a much easier time reaching dry ground than you would in a submerged car. <laughs>